What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, yet another Panama fishing video. Oh, just about fell over. We're here in Panama with Sportfish Panama Island Lodge and we're way offshore, approximately 50 miles and there's this island out here in the middle of nowhere. The surge is crazy. The fishing's absolutely crazy. We just got done catching two mega big yellow fins. Crystal caught her first yellow fin and we saw a bait ball that I was so excited to get in the water with and spearfish with, except there was giant sharks underneath it. So I said, there's no way I'm doing that. But I now have worked up the courage to get in around these pinnacles because I don't think those big sharks are gonna come around here. They're offshore a little bit, about a half mile with all the tuna and all the birds. What should be here is some big coberas, some, we're gonna see some stuff that I've probably never seen before. There's the island and these are just big jagged rocks that have come off the island a little bit. And you can tell the waves are nasty up there. Crystal was gonna get in, but I think she just got a little bit intimidated. Too much for these little legs. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping we were gonna go over there in the calm water, but Cap said we had to get in here. So we're gonna start here. And if this doesn't work, we're gonna go way over there. There you go. All right. We're going into the unknown. I don't like it. It scares the hell out of me, but we're going to do it. <laughs> You're brave. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord have <laughs> He said something's going to die real soon. <laughs> he sees a bunch of stuff. I told you something was gonna die. You said real soon. Real soon. That's a big one. Nice. That's a big mullet snapper. The only one I've ever shot or seen in my life was in Costa Rica at the Vente Seis. Vente Seis. Vente Seis. Hey. <laughs> you like you like to eat them? Good. That's a pretty fish. What do you see down there? Get in the water is all I can tell you. It's the most beautiful thing ever. And it's not scary. Go get your gear. You see this one? Hey, you see this one? If he cooked, look at me. If that shark comes up, just lightly poke him. You'll be fine. Come on. Come with me.
trophy my favorite fish yeah. it is a big one too yeah. you can pull him it's good it's okay you guys I am so glad I decided to get in that water we've already had an epic morning captain Shane's done everything he said he's gonna do and then some so I asked him if we could get in the water and shoot some fish and he said Yes, now closer to the mainland, closer to his lodge, he doesn't allow any spear fishing because like most places around the world, this place has been getting overfished. So here he doesn't allow it. Now out here on this island, he will. I could have shot many mullet snapper and I could have shot two big cabaras, but I didn't because I'd already shot one and I know I was after the Mui Grande. Oh, 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 oh bad accident. The Mui Grande. So let me show you what we got. We got him in this big, ferocious, mean mullet snapper. I guarantee you, I'm gonna show Captain Shane and our mate Mike that this trigger fish is better than this mullet snapper. And that's hard to beat because these are amazing. What's on the agenda next? Whatever you guys want to do. You want to go try another pinnacle? If you can dream it, we can do it. We're about to go get some more. What you do y'all think? Captain Shane and this lodge, make sure you go back and watch all these videos of Panama in sequence. I'm going to put them out as fast as I can. The one of us leaving Stewart, Florida and getting all the way to his lodge, Crystal catches an amazing fish. The second one is big giant tuna, exactly what he said we were coming here for. This one was just unexpected. I knew I could get something to eat. I didn't know I'd get two trophy fish. And here we are. And this is day one. I got to give a huge shout out to yours truly because she was super intimidated by this. We saw monster sharks right out there. She didn't want to get in. I had her get in. Other than being nervous, are you glad you did? It was beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah, it was pretty. Just deep, dark, clear, beautiful water. Mm -hmm. High five. High five on your biggest yellow fin. Let's do it. High five on your biggest yellow fin. When I was young, my brother deer meat for dinner took me places like this in Costa Rica. And I was just like her. I was so intimidated, I couldn't even hold my breath. So I have complete sympathy for her, but I wanted to make her get in so she could see it. Just like Robert made me get in back in the day. Now when I'm doing it, I'm a lot more comfortable. It's totally different than where we dive at home or anywhere else in the world. This place is beautiful. Talk it all the way. You had him, babe. You had him. Get this big one right here. talking about hey right. that's why I wanted you to get in oh yeah come on we got to swim him out there you want me to help you or you got him <laughs> good job how hard was he pulling on your way like to the crazy. surface I didn't think I was gonna get him up that is a giant. You Look would at the not, teeth on that joker. You would not want to stick your finger in there, I can tell you. Woo! 
out, boy. You already know Adam wasn't gonna let us outdo him. He done piled him up a big old big one too. Look at that one. Hold that in, babe. There you go. This one we gotta unload a little bit differently. I gotta unclip this. So if you guys have never been in the Pacific Ocean, it's much different than the Atlantic or the Gulf of Mexico. We have surge here. So we gotta leave the big boats off and we're gonna take these little boats and go back and forth from the boat. That's how we get on and get off. They don't make them much nicer than this vessel though. I can tell you that right there. You ready? <laughs> Look what's waiting for us on the beach. That's my best friend. <laughs> That's your literally your best friend. We've been hanging out the whole time we've been here. Trouble. So they got some awesome dogs in the island that they've sort of just taken in and Trouble's waiting for us. I came out this morning and Adam was having a love session. I was drinking his coffee and scratching her belly. I was watching the sunrise with a cup of coffee and had her laying next to me scratching her belly. That's a pile of fish right there. Yeah. And not but an hour of spearing. A lot of people, especially Americans, don't realize that around the world they don't ice the fish till they get in because they can't afford ice. They don't have that luxury. This fish will be so fresh when it comes dinner time. <whistles> Trouble! <whistles> I can't wait to show them, babe, the, the snail patterns on the beach. Did you notice that all the snails travel in like the certain direction? Wait till I show you, it's neat. No, I didn't even notice it. So right here, you're about to see the surge. You can see like at home in the Atlantic, there would be waves. Here, there's no waves, but then watch right on the edge of the beach. Look at her, she is so excited. Then right here, they start. Hey girl, what are you doing? What you doing? What you doing? She just jumped up and licked the camera. So look at these patterns from all these snails. If Luke was here, my son, he would be infatuated. It looks like a brush, like they all get in order and they crawl along. Yep. This is like the coolest thing. And what I'm Babe, I stand corrected. These aren't snails. These are these ghost crabs. That crab that just went in that hole does these really cool patterns. So right here we have one of the chefs at the lodge, Edgar. He's going to cook up. Have you ever had these before? Yeah, I, I cook it before in Chinese. Chinese? It's a fr flounder with uh, ginger and okay. liver. But you don't cook it often? No, no, no. You like the snapper? I like the snapper too. See, even the chef here says, I cook snapper often but not trigger fish. Tonight me and you are going to cook these together. It's going to be muy bueno. Okay. Let's do it. I'm going to do this with my 7 inch Pro Series. Everybody's seen me clean a snapper before. Super simple, right down the backbone, right out the tail. Easy peasy. Not only do I think that the trigger fish is going to taste better, but the meat looks so much better. That joker's got a heck of a pin bone right there. So that's the snapper. That's the one that they love around here. Look at the blood. So the snapper was super easy. This trigger fish is a lot harder. If I was just to flay it, it wouldn't be near as hard, but we're cooking this whole entire fish. Always start on a trigger fish right up here on their back fin like this. For some reason, it's super soft there compared to like leather everywhere else. I'm gonna come all the way down on this forehead and I'm keeping the tip of my knife in there. Cause look at that, how mushy that is. That's all meat. Come right here on its tail, cut through, and I'm gonna just do the same. Here, I'll start over here, make it easier for you. 
big old fat lip. I'm pretty sure this size trigger fish could bite your finger off. Get something to work with. I might even be able to poke a hole in it with my finger. Oh yeah. Just like cleaning the hog. Poke me a little bit bigger hole. You see the skin starting to grab anywhere? Just take your knife and cut it off. Look at the throat and the cheeks on this fish. I'm gonna flip him over and do the same exact thing. If you ever wonder why a trigger fish has such big, nasty, gnarly teeth, look at this. Look right here, babe. Most other fish would have like other fish in their belly. Look at that. Straight Ooh. coral. Like what do they do that for? They bite it off. Those are the chunks that you see missing out of the rocks. That's Why? what they eat. If he bit you, he could easily bite your finger off. So right now I've already gutted him. I'm taking his gills out and the rest will be history. Got a bed of aluminum foil. We've got our fish laying here. Obviously everything's gone, the fins, the guts, the gills, all the meat's there though. Not one ounce of meat is gone. Got a stick of butter. Just cutting it up into some cubes. You don't need a ton because the mayonnaise is gonna do the trick. We're gonna take a big scoop of mayonnaise, put it on here, and actually put it in there with our fingers. Get it in all the cracks, all the crevices. I wish I had me some kimchi, but I don't. Chef Lee, that's cooking the main dinner tonight, because we're actually doing this in a whole nother dinner. Just made this all-purpose seasoning out of a bunch of stuff that he had. He said it's good. I got the fish cut into like checkerboards. Put some in his inside in here. Now I'm gonna just place this butter in and about. I bet he didn't think he was gonna eat some butter later. Just like that. The hard part when you're doing this is the aluminum foil because they don't really make wide enough pieces. So I'm gonna have to do a bunch of different layers. And y'all already know, men ain't good at wrapping Christmas presents, so it is what it is. I'm gonna do that, flip him over, and do it again. Bada bing, bada bang. And so huge shout wrong. out to my son Jake. I know when a couple videos in the past I said it's his birthday but today is actually his birthday I'm not with him it's pretty unfortunate I wish I was but as soon as I get home I'm taking him to hunting camp we're gonna take this and put it right on the grill you want it low and slow are you dressed and ready or what all cleaned up smell pretty you guys this lodge is beautiful if you want to see more of this awesome lodge check out the video before this one right now we got to go eat your bats are back out babe did I tell you what happened this morning when I was looking for my hat. Oh, well, I found your hat. Where was it? On our end table in the bedroom. Oh my Lord, have mercy. So this awesome lodge has an outside shower, which is amazing because we don't have that at home and to do it here is just second to none. Adam, will you grab my Yeti drink, please? So this morning I'm frantically looking for my hat that she just found and I walk on the out outside shower and it's pretty dark, but there is a light and something goes and like went off of me and I thought for sure I'm like that was a moth so I'm like that was a moth it wasn't what I think it is so I went back in and I walked back out and pfft, it was a bat I had a bat stuck to the side of my head <laughs> let me see his lips real quick I mean just would you look at it <laughs> he needs some braces try a little sneak peek before everybody dives in oh, that looks good Ten out of That's ten. Amazing. Chef Egner and where's oh Mr. Lee? He bailed out. <laughs> the, one of the main chefs. He doesn't like to be on camera. So this is what we got. We have snapper and triggerfish, green beans, some ribs, some fried coconut shrimp. Yes, sir. Yum. Rico bean. 
Corvina, fried Corvina, some homemade fries that's just like we make them at home, tomatoes, avocados, which I know that's your favorite. That's you going to be, yeah. I'm going to eat this whole plate. <laughs> All right. And Here, actually, like, before we sit down, I want you, this is obviously Captain Shane, the owner of the place. Let's have your taste test. You're going to be the most main. Try a piece of the snapper and then a piece of the triggerfish. It was cooked exactly the same, the same way, same grill, same sauce, and same this seasoning. This is the snapper and the triggerfish. This is the trigger. Hand me a little plate there behind you on the, the far. Oh left. no, this is blue Gabe. You can eat it right okay. off the plate. We're good. <laughs> try your you try your piece right there. Just any of the right, good pieces. All right, let me try this. But we're not very proper on here sometimes, especially when we've been fishing all day. That's pretty good. Now the mullet snapper. You guys, when you come to this lodge, this is what you can expect every day and this isn't even extravagant that's pretty good too but the texture on this is a lot better than what i have thought Isn't that crazy that's awesome so no matter where i go in the world there's trigger fish and everybody mm -hmm. around the world eats them and i a, love shooting them that was a monster trigger fish you guys Did got it was. monsters and crystal got her one and adam got him i mean we do work on the triggers that trigger fish is really good you're right it's got a better consistency than the than the snapper. snapper yeah. Can we talk about me pouncing on some of these ribs? Ooh. We got to give a huge shout out to Captain Shane for having us and having such an amazing, beautiful place. He has the best staff, the best gear. I mean, they're guys. This is like basic compared to last night. Last night we had chicken wings for an appetizer, and then we had a full spread of steak. Adam like, and I thought we were gonna tuna. lose weight on this trip. No, but that as is you guys can tell. Case. He's been on we're ahead of schedule. <laughs> and you guys, we're only on day one. Boom. We got two more it, to go. It'll just keep getting better. <laughs> I don't know if you can top today. If you top today, I'm here to no, tell epic. you. Epic. Epic. That's it for this though, folks. You saw uh, what most people would consider trash fish, which is crazy compared to a snapper fish, which most people would think is like the best eating fish there is. Don't ever be scared to try something new. Experience especially trigger fish because they're the best. But right now we're going to sit down and enjoy a meal and start a new video in the morning. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Check out Sportfish Panama Island Lodge. I'm getting good at saying that, by the way. <laughs> Sportfish Panama Island Lodge. Everything will be in the link in the description below. We'll see you all in the next one.